Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Susan here in the Kids Corner. So glad that you could join me today. You know, a few days ago, I was reading in God's Word, my Bible, some of the parables that Jesus had shared with us. Uh, and a parable is just a short story uh, that Jesus would tell to many different people that would teach us an important lesson. And this particular parable that I was reading was called the Parable of the Sower. And in this parable in Matthew, and you can read it for yourself, talks about a farmer who was trying to plant his crop. Well, he tried to plant some of the seed on top of hard, dry soil. And as you know, that's not going to work very well, right? So the birds just came by and yummy, they had a great lunch. Well, then it says also that he planted some of those seeds or some of those seeds fell on rocky soil. Well, not much is going to grow in rocks, right? So the roots couldn't really dig down deep and grow anything. So not much happened with those seeds. Well, it also says that he planted some seeds that happened to fall in some thorny bush area. You know what those thorny bushes look like? Yeah, they kind of hurt, especially if you fall into them. Well, when those seeds landed down in that thorny bush, uh, the thorns just kind of took them over and those roots couldn't grow either. Well, it says also finally that some of his seeds, thankfully, fell into some good, rich, moist soil. And that, of course, is where all the seeds were able to grow because they got exactly what they needed. They got good soil, they got water, and they got some yummy sunshine. Well, I decided to see if I could be a farmer. So I got myself some grass seed. Just looks like that. And these little blue things down in there is actually the grass seed. And I thought, well, you know, maybe I might want to start a sod farm. So I said, well, how much grass can I actually grow? So I put some of my nice seed down into this cup with some good soil. Put the seeds on top of the good soil. Added a little bit more good soil on top. Gave it some water. So over the past three days, I've kept it watered just a wee bit. And I put it out in the sunshine because we've had great sunshine the last few days. And I thought, well, you know, those grass seeds, they'll come up really fast. And uh, by the time I do this, I'd have a nice little head of grass there coming out of my cup. Well, as you can see, it's not worked so well. Uh, I have nothing. And I've tried to be really diligent in taking care of my grass seed to see if I could grow any. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to either have to wait a little bit longer or I'm just going to have to give up. But you know what? I know of a perfect farmer. And that farmer is God. You see, God knows exactly what we need in order for us to grow into the people that he wants us to be. I think some of those things we need that he tells us about in his word is to read and study his Bible. The other thing I think we need to do is to pray and just to ask God to help us know how to live. I think we need to be a part of a good church family in order to grow like God wants us to do. So I know that if I wait patiently, and if I study, and I listen, that God is willing to help me grow in the best possible ways. And you know what? God's right there waiting to help you grow in the best possible ways as well. So I'll continue to wait patiently a few more days to see if my grass is going to grow, and I'll continue to do what I think I need to do to help it grow. But I'm so glad that God is right there every moment of every day to help me grow the way he wants me to. Until next time, I love you, I miss you, and I'm praying for you.